Welcome to Green Gander 75, I'm Buddy. Uh, we're going to continue on with the uh, 14 half inch uh, South Bend lathe project. Uh, apron parts are over there. Uh, most of them have been stripped, uh, repainted, and ready to put back together. Only thing I got left is the main casting. Took a little longer than I expected on that, but uh, it is now completely stripped down, uh, ready for me to mask it and, and um, and go ahead and get that painted. And once that's painted, then we can go ahead and put it back together. So let's go ahead and get started on uh, finishing up the uh, the rest of the uh, of the saddle here. Go ahead and take it apart, uh, get it completely taken apart, the taper attachment, and um, go ahead and get all those stripped down and prep for painting as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and uh, take off the compound first. So you've got two Allen screws here in the back. We're going to remove those completely. A little bit of jiggling, and there it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and remove this Gibbs screw right here. Take it forward, and we should be able to get the gib right off it. Isn't that interesting? There is a shim here. Apparently, you take up some slack. There's a shim that was installed. It's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and remove this bolt here. Came off pretty easy. If I get into a bind, I will still follow up with the uh, with the uh, repair manual that I got for this lathe. But for the most part, at this point, I'm I'm pretty much learning on my own, um, and rather enjoying that actually. All right, I'm gonna take this taper attachment off first. Ooh, man, that's got a rather strong odor. Now, I'm not gonna take that all the way off yet. I wanna see how it's held on there. It is held on there with some pins. Went just a little bit too far. Here we go. All right, so I just want to make sure if I remove this bolt, it wasn't going to come crashing to the floor. And there it is, and it is heavy. All right, let's see if this will come off now. There it is. Supposed to use a spanner wrench to remove this, but it has obviously been changed and they put a brass uh, nut in its place.
Wow. Well, here's the screw. I can almost guarantee you that I will be either making a new one or replacing it by buying a new one. It doesn't look good at all. So we got some bolts underneath here. All right, that bracket holds the carriage in place. Okay, let's see what the underside looks like. Well, could be worse. All right, got the other camera here. Let me show you what we got going on. All right, so this is the bottom of the saddle. Now I'm no lathe expert. Um, I'm sure some of y'all watching probably know a lot better what you're looking at than I am. But for the most part I'm pretty satisfied at what I'm seeing here. Considering the age of the lathe and um, the wear that I've seen on it, this could be a lot worse. This could be a whole lot worse. Here are the parts that I just took off. Okay, well here we are. So, uh, what are my conclusions here? <laughs> Well, I tell you what, nothing here that I wasn't already expecting. I had a pretty good idea of what to expect and uh, looks like my sus suspicions were correct. And um, so what we're gonna have to do here is um, put it back, adjust it as best we can to get everything trued up as close as we can it won't be perfect and then plan on a later date to repair the defective parts. The cross screw here is uh, it is very heavily worn. Now if you look back at the beginning of my videos I pointed out that uh, it had a complete turn of backlash. Well Looking at this, I can tell you exactly why it had a complete turn of backlash. Um, the, uh, the threads right in here are rather thin. This gear right here is, is pretty worn as well. It's uh, actually very worn. So looking like we're going to be replacing this. Whether we make one or we buy one, most likely we're going to buy one. Uh, simply don't have the means to make one and I don't expect to have the means to make one um, for quite some time. 
rest of these parts, not too bad. Certainly worn. Certainly could have used a lot more oil than they've seen. This bronze nut right here for that cross screw, we're probably going to end up replacing it as well. It also looks like it is extremely worn. Holy moly. Wow. Okay. This is going to be our priority. We've got to replace this before we put this back together. There are the threads are paper thin on it. I was expecting this, so um, I know that I can buy that nut off of eBay. I am pretty sure I can also buy this screw on eBay. Gonna have to put a little bit of money into it, but that's part of the part of the, it's part of doing this. It's gonna cost a little bit to get it repaired. All right, I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up this evening. Uh, so we go went ahead and got everything taken apart here, and um, so we're gonna have a lot of work to do. Um, as you saw my reaction, um, I, I knew that there was damage on this stuff, so I not you know completely surprised but um you know you kind of you kind of hope that maybe it won't be as bad as you think it will be <laughs> well i tell you what this time yeah it was every bit as bad as i thought it would be i don't like ending an episode in um such a down way so uh so i'm not i'm not we're gonna go ahead and and, and keep a positive look on this. Uh, there are ways to repair the damage that I found. Um, I've already researched it like I was just saying. So, um, you know, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take this and we're going to move on and we're going to make it work. And that's, that's, that's how it's going to happen. So, um, wow. Hey, you take it. You take what you uh, what you're given. I'm afraid. Uh, so, once again, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, I want to thank you for subscribing. Uh, appreciate all the comments and uh, all the new subscribers. Um, man, I think I'm picking up at least one subscriber a day now, and that is completely and totally awesome. I, I really, I, I wasn't expecting that with this channel. I mean, that is fantastic. Boy, I, I'm just really excited. So, um, okay, we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to jump on the, uh, the rest of the apron, putting it back together. I think we're in good shape on that. I uh, just got to finish painting it and then uh, putting it back together. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the next video I do in this series. And then uh, once the apron is put back together, then we're going to go ahead and jump back over here to the saddle. Um, finish taking apart things like compound here, uh, do a re miter, uh, yeah, compound. Things like compound, um, and uh, continue getting this cleaned up and, and, and trying to get it back into a, uh, a good usable state. Because <laughs> I tell you what, we're getting to the point now that we're about halfway done with the Slathe project, and I am anxious, anxious to get it, get, um, to get started using it um, so wow okay well I guess that's it for this evening so uh, once again thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and uh, we'll see y'all next time have a good evening